What's up everyone? Today we're going to be checking out the infamous, famous, possible de best deck in the Formax, Charizard EX. Now this card and a lot of the supporting cards here came out in the Obsidian Flames set about a couple months ago. It was hyped up, probably didn't live up to it for the moment. However, I am here to tell you right now that this is actually quite possibly the best deck in the format, and here's why. Charles RDX boasts a whopping 330 HP. It is a stage 2 Pokemon. We're going to be skipping Charmeleon for the most part, just using rare candy. But the reason you want to play Charizard, three to four copies of it, it's Infernal Rain, is actually energy acceleration built into an, acceler to, uh, an evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, it could be Charmander or Charmeleon, you may search up to three basic fire energy cards from your deck and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. You can attach it to Charizard, you can attach it to any Charmanders if you're trying to set up. You can even combine this with Radiant Charizard as needed or attach to whoever's in the active if you need to switch out. Very useful, very versatile. And for only two energy, you can actually attack with Burning Darkness, which does 180 damage, but ramps up 30 more every time that you, uh, your opponent has taken an extra prize card. So it can be as low as 180, it can be as high as 330 HP of damage, if I'm not mistaken. What we're going to be doing here is we want to be playing at least two copies of the Charmander from 151. Because it does have 70 HP and it has a good attack to destroy a stadium as well as 30 damage for 2 energy. And the other one we want to be using is the, uh, this is a promo one, Charmander that does heat tackle. But this is also found in Obsidian Flames. And if you're able to, you can even play one of the promos that comes in the poster collection if I'm not mistaken. And reduce one of the ones from Obsidian Flames. But for sure you want to have 4 Charmander no matter what. We do want to include one copy of the 90 HP Charmeleon from Obsidian Flames, which uh, this will allow you to search it out with Level Ball, you just need one copy of it, and does 70 damage for 2 energy. This is going to be very useful in certain tight spots, but also uh, allows you to save some of your rare candy so you don't have to be burning them the entire time. What is the main engine for this deck? Well, one of them is going to be this Pidgeot EX, as you may or may not know, quick search lets you search for a card from your deck once per turn every single turn very useful if you want to get a boss's orders a switch that last piece to evolve another charmeleon charizard ultra balls rare candies what have you it's very very useful and it has zero retreat you can also attack with it if you need we are rocking a 2-2 line of pidgey pidgeot meaning two pidgeys no pidgeotos because we are going to be using rare candy we got four copies of those for both charme uh your Charmander going to Charizard, but also for your Pidgeot. Uh, Call for Family is useful uh, because you get to search your deck for two basic Pokemon and put them on your bench. That's a built-in battle VIP pass. Maybe you're not able to set up as much as you'd like in the beginning, you can call for family. Now, if you don't call for family on your first turn to set up, you can also play Rotom V. Uh, this is something that is heavily inspired from Azul GG. He's been playing Charizard EX a lot lately, um, and it's been showing him a lot of success. So this is kind of inspired from his, uh, been watching how he's doing closely, and it's been very, very effective. Insta Charge allows you to draw three cards at the end of your turn, ends it, but if you're trying to set up the first turn or second turn, this is very useful because as you'll see, there's not a ton of draw power in the deck, but once you kind of set up, it's, it's very much an engine that is easy to set up. Your success rate is high. This is not an invincible deck, but your chances of winning or getting ahead or even coming back are very, very high, which is why this deck is worth checking out. As we mentioned, Radzard is here to uh, also be a, an option to close out a game. Sometimes it's useful. It's not your end result because Charizard EX is almost always going to have a higher output at that point, but sometimes you'll need to play this Charizard and you get to do 250 damage for as low as one energy, depending on how many prize cards your opponent is taking. So again, the same ability, the more you fall behind, the more power or ability you have to your hand. We are going to be rocking Battle VIP Pass that'll help you play two basic Pokemon to your bench straight from your deck. Very useful for setup. We do have three copies of Nest Ball for similar as well as three Ultra Ball. And Artisan, we want to pay two copies of these so that we can get our basic styles as long as they don't have more boxes. Perfect for Pidgeys, perfect for Charmanders. 
what else do we have we have three iono to help us uh with searching the game in the beginning and also to help uh disrupt our opponent's hand arvin this is the version of it that's going to be arvin's art so you're going to play four copies of it this is so useful because you get to play four copies or you get to search an item card and a tool with the same search in one built-in card in the form of Arvin. So this is good to help you get your ball engine cards. This is great to get your four seal stones, your uh, other tools that you may be playing as we'll show you in a minute. For example, we've got one copy of Choice Belt, one copy of Defiance Band, and one or two of four seals since we are playing the Rotom V, which lets us search out for an extra card in our hand, in our deck. When we're setting up, this is very useful because you're gonna just get to your full setup board state much quicker. We also have a copy of Justified Gloves for the mirror match. It just helps you do 30 more damage and it makes it easier to one-shot your opponent's Charizard DX extra to get to that point. Rare Candy, as we mentioned, we've got four. We've got Super Rod to help bring our energies back into the deck. We are unfortunately only playing six copies, but if you use them wisely throughout the game and you kind of keep in count how many have been prized, how many are left in the deck, how many are in the discard, six energy, maybe seven energy, and two super rods, that's gonna be all you need as long as you don't misuse them. But again, this, this is such a potent, powerful deck. The last supporter we're playing is Boss's Orders. Three copies is a must. There's not enough room for four, but three is almost always perfect because you don't need it at the beginning of the game. You need it once you're attacking. We do have one copy of Switch as well as one escape rope just to make sure that we don't get stuck in the active if we need to get them out. Lost Vacuum is actually really, really nice and versatile because it allows us to get rid of a tool card we no longer need, maybe a tool card your opponent has, or any stadiums that are blocking. The worst stadium for this deck to face is actually Path to the Peak. No brainer there because it blocks your abilities. It makes it impossible to use Insta Charge for Roll Time, makes it impossible for Radiant Charizard to reduce its attack cost, and it makes it impossible for Pidgeot to use its quick search. So this will quite literally put a freeze to Charizard in its tracks. I think we covered pretty much all the cards in this deck, so I'm really excited to show up. So let's see what we got. You want to ideally be going first since you do need to set up. Uh, unless you're going into a specific matchup, but let's see. We will do just that. And ideally, we want one Charmander, one Pidgey, or more. And we've got Rotom, so that's not bad. As well as two Battle VIP. We are cooking, ladies and gentlemen. We've already got a rare candy Pidgeot in our hand, so unless we get disrupted, this is actually great. Let's see what we're up against. It looks like grass leaves, but I never pay attention to the sleeves. It could be anything. Mine don't match other than the color, so. We are playing Superior. Now, it doesn't quite matter because though Charmander is a fire type Pokemon, Charizard is a dark type. So, you know, it, it doesn't make much of a difference in that sense. Let's see what else is in the deck. One Pidgeot is in the hand. Okay. We've got our energies. Our designs there. Now, we don't need to do much else. What I will do is Insta Charge. Draw three cards. Now, I'm holding the energy because I could always attach it next turn if I need to retreat from Rotom. Uh, I just don't want to waste it right now. <coughs> if our opponent is playing Superior, they are probably doing some sort of a, what's it called, stall deck, possibly, because they're usually grass types like to recover energy, they like to move energy around, and whatnot, what have you. But usually if they play superior, they play some other sort of Pokemon in combination with it. They attach to the active, and this does, it heals both active Pokemon, okay. So what I would like to do this next turn is Rare Candy Pidgeot. I'll probably get an Arvin or an Iono. May or may not be risky. I could possibly just go straight into the Charizard and look for a Choice Belt, something like that. 
we do have a four seal stone so we could always use that as well we don't have to wait we could do yeah i think that's right we can rare candy pidgeot arvin and then four seal stone for the last piece and that's it that's your setup right there <clears throat> that's your setup right there all right so they don't have much going on let us attach i'm going to evolve Pidgey. We are going to quick search Arvin. Okay. So with it, we're going to get, we can do either Ultra Ball or the Rare Candy, but we need both. We definitely need both. Ultra Ball, and I will grab a Choice Belt just because in this matchup we're going against V Pokemon. Done. And here we are going to. We need Rare Candy, so that's what we're going to do. Star Alchemy using our V Power. Getting a nice gold Rare Candy. Going to Ultra Ball, get rid of this, get rid of Counter Catcher is nice. I don't think we need Lost Vacuum for now. We have a second copy. So let's do it. The Charizard. Da, da, da. Rare Candy Evolve. Boom. We're only going to pull up two energy because we have two in the hand. So we don't want to waste all of them right now. We don't have to. Boom. Boom. Last piece is this. Retreat. To our big boy Zard. Choice belt. And we attack. And that's two prizes right there. Turn two. That is the best ideal setup for right now. Obviously we could always evolve our Pidgey and Charmander's on the bench. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's basically the main point of the deck. Um, of course, its output is going to be a little low in the beginning of the game because it's only 180 unless you have a damage modifier. But quite frankly, I mean, we're done with Rotom, so I can get rid of it. And that's one less liability, so thank you for that opponent. EV go EV 253. Now... Unless they've got something else up their sleeves, this is as good as GG's. Whenever you're ahead like this, you don't want to let the foot off the gas. You want to continue setting up. Unless you're playing against a deck that plays a lot of de-evolution TMs. The reason for that is because then they're going to really stop you in your tracks. And then you have to pull up more rare candies. Or then you really have to think about including stage 1s in your deck. That can spell doom. So the biggest weaknesses that this deck have are the de-evolution tm as well as path to the peak now has our opponent walked away hopefully not we would like to still finish the game doesn't always have to end in a concession wait a minute i don't know what happened here but we're okay now it's my turn the clock was running on my side did you guys see that that was weird um bu -bu 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 -bu. Get another Arvin. Or we could Iona, but we don't want to help give him any help. Don't need to. Yeah, let's just search for Rare Candy. Let me hold the hand for now. Don't need a search card. Do we need. No, we don't have to do anything right now. Let's just swing. Take a prize card. They couldn't even pitch a Puku Muku. That could have helped them to get rid of a card in their hand to the deck and get another card, but I guess they're not interested in that right now. Okay, then. So what does Superior do? They give up. Okay, so they couldn't Star Winder. They couldn't attach energy. I'm surprised they didn't play a Gardenia's Vigor, which is, of course. Do -do. We start with Radiant Charizard, which is the worst thing to start with. It's 
not a bad idea to play Professor Turo's scenario, which helps you bring back a Pokemon from your side of the field, get it out of play, and we're up against Lost Box. Let's see if it's the Giratina variant or something else. We do start off with two Battle VAP passes again, so it is Giratina. Okay. This is going to be an interesting matchup, guys. Huh. For sure, for sure, we need Rotom and we need a Switch. So, yeah, Rotom and Switch. Playing the Ultra Ball. Got rid of Thornton. They're playing Thornton. Not interesting. Four seal stone. So we got, we have, this is not a pretty bad hand. This is a pretty good hand. We just need some basics, but the basics are going to come right here. We got boss. Okay. Battle VIP. Let's do that. And then we are going to play our second. Stupidity Rotom. Huh. What we need to do now is we can hold Nest Ball, don't need to play that right now. I'm gonna attach for steel. I would like to boss, but we don't need to right now. What I would like to do is switch. Right? Yeah, that might not be the worst thing ever. Let's go ahead. Oh, we can do something else, too. Let's attach here. Let's star alchemy first. What do we want? We could Iono. I don't think we need boss right now. We could rope. Right? That's actually not bad. We could use rope. And then... Yeah, let's do that. Although, we can do Arvin next turn. We don't need that right now. Just grab the escape rope. <coughs> They're going to put another coffee. Doesn't matter. Bring up Rotom. Because I can retreat it next turn. And we're going to insta charge to draw some cards. That is not bad. We do need rare candy next turn. We do need a rare candy. Also, if our opponent knocks out the roll time, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because then that increases our Charizard's output as far as damage. Whereas if we start swinging first, we just put it at risk of Giratina using um, Star Requiem. But for that, they need 10 in the law zone. They only have two. They're a little slow. They have not played Chorus Experiment yet. And they don't have Chorus Experiment yet. Okay. Well, what are we doing here? <laughs> I really need Iono. Really do. So actually, I think it wouldn't be the worst thing ever if we go the slow route, because we need too many things. At least one Iono, something. So we will do just that. Let's just insta charge. I don't have to attach energy. We've got Iono and Argon, so that's beautiful. We, we're putting a bunch of things at the bottom of the deck, unfortunately. Um, let's see how we get out of this mess. We need Rare Candy and Pidgeot or Charizard. I don't think I've checked the deck. I could Nest Ball one time. Just to see what's in there. And then we can... I don't know. Or just risk it, to be honest. This is a Charizard, but I don't have... Well... Yeah, I guess I could rare candy right now. That's right. That's right, that's right. 
Mm, do you want to do that? Because I would like to ball. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's go for a rare candy. And ch oh, we don't have choice belts. No choice belt, ladies and gentlemen. Dang. Okay, so what we're going to do is take out the four seals so we can discard it. We're going to evolve into Pidgeot. Right there. We are going to look for Charizard. Get rid of the seal. Get rid of Rotom. Really don't need that. We didn't need Charizard either, now that I think about it. Um... Let's grab it, doesn't matter. Too many cards in the hand. What we need now is rare candy. Okay. The Pokemon Go version of it. Like the rainbow colors of it. That's one cool thing out of Pokemon Go. Everything else is kind of blah. We shall evolve. What are we going to do here? Yes, I'm going to do just two. Because we don't need to set up everything just yet. So let's do the two. One, two. And we're able to retreat here. What else do I want to do? I'm going to play Nest Ball for another Charmander. So I can start setting that up. I will now hold the hand. Retreat. Zard will start swinging. Our biggest threat is going to be either one of the Guatinas. <coughs> but to be quite honest with you, they don't have enough cards in the Lost Zone. So they can't great. Boss's Order is very up to. They don't have enough cards in the Lost Zone, only three. And they also don't have enough energy. They do 280, but that's not knocking us out. And if they do, we're ready for a counter response. So we're in a pretty good position right now in the driver's seat. And they don't have Mirage Gate available. So they all these energy have been manually attacked. I'm also hoping that they Avery me so I can get rid of Rotom and something else. But we're cooking here. We're good. I don't know. Hmm. I would like to get a choice belt because then I can knock out. Choice belt for a knockout, right? Choice belt. No, choice belt would not mean knockout because only 210. And let's go ahead and we're going to rare candy. Rare candy. Save one for later. Might not even need it. Yes. Right now we will bring out all three. In case they want to trap this guy. And they think they're getting smart with us. Now there's one energy prize I think. Or it's in the discard. So Super Rod can do that for us. I will now get rid of... I don't need to get rid of anything. No. Let's hold the hand. I am going... Oh, you know what? I can boss. Yeah. Let's get the mini on. It's a knockout right there. Now, why did I do that? I did that because Giratina V-Star can't attack next turn. So the threat is neutralized and we got a choice spell. That's actually great. And we got a counter stadium in case they play Path to the P. So we're, we are completely in control of this matchup. Now, to credit of our opponent, they did have a slow start. Um, by now, they would have played like two or three choruses experiment. But they just haven't had any of them. They haven't even had a Poke Gear, no draw support, or nothing. Which is very surprising, even in a Lost Zone matchup like this. Like, it's, it's a powerful deck, guys. 
This is not a, it's not a F tier or anything like that. Like it's very much, you know, a relevant menace in the format. <clears throat> so what are we going to do here? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. We could choice bell, but it's not gonna matter. And boss up the one that had well, you could do that too, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's save that one for now. Let's choice belt this one here. Okay. We could I don't need I, we don't need anything else. I could Iona, but that would be helping my helping my opponent. Let's Let's grab an Arvin, just because. They're not the deck that way. Lost Vacuum is a good idea, but I don't think I'm going to need that right now. Super Rod. Let's get a Super Rod. Yeah. Just to hold it and save that energy for when we do need it. Let us... We kind of want our opponent to knock out this Charizard, but they're not going to be able to. They might be, but they're not going to be able to. In doing so, that'll increase our output, but it's just, uh, <laughs> they're a little stuck right now. Okay, they have seven, six in the Lost Zone. Why is a Colrus Experiment in the Lost Zone uh, thing right now? Okay. So they're trapping a Pidgey, hoping that it sticks. And they're going to knock it out. Oh man, I'm good with that. I'm so good with that. If I were them, I would have left it in the active though to try to trap me. But that's not what they did. Not what they did. You put a Pidgey out just because for your retreat always helps. You always want to set up first and then ask questions later. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring these two back in just because I will boss the one with no energy. And I will... Retreat with this one. More damage I'll put. He's got 240, 40 damage left. <laughs> Let's see how they get out of this one, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they have a switch. Switch they can't use switch card because it's not a basic, it's an evolved Pokemon. I don't think they can do anything else. Where are their energy cards? Finally they get a chorus. Now and like turn five, six of the game. Ooh. Goodness. What did they just throw out? No coffee. Okay. Do they have 10? No, they do not. They could lost the impact. Okay. Sure. Lost vacuum. Get rid of my belt. Makes no difference. It really doesn't. Or does it? That's nine. They got nine. If they had one more, they could knock out my Charizard. But honestly, at this point, like we're we're set. It's game over. It is game over, ladies and gentlemen. What will you do now? Yep. I would probably get rid of the, of the water energies just so they can, both Giratinas can attack. But, um, yeah, this is as good as done. What? I don't know what happened there. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's just attack. We're done. Game over. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. That's pretty much Charizard EX in a nutshell. Um, there will be matchups that are going to be quite difficult. I, I can't really think of any right now, but anything basically that causes uh, de evolution. Um, if you go up against Maridon hands, just simply because Ampu very much can knock out your basics, that's a, a strong matchup against Charizard. There's there's a few. Giratina has a great shot against it, but unfortunately, our opponent just wasn't able to set up. But if they were to set up just a turn sooner or maybe a little bit faster, it would have been much more difficult for us, guys. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stick, stay tuned. We're going to be showing a few more decks. We have a lot more that we've already prepared in Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, as well as some IRL decks that we would like to showcase. Until then, have a good one.